SMT Nation, we back. We got a price video, I guess. I I don't know, man. It, no surprise here to us. For anybody who has been following the channel and the content that I make over the course of the last year or two, we focus on pricing. It is a big part of what we discuss on the channel. Mobile network operators, home ISPs, makes no difference. Friend of the channel, friend of the show on the podcast, Roger Etner has told us time and time again, the data at Recon Analytics price is the driver of broadband provider choice. Now we've got more data proving this. There was a study conducted between November of 21 and August of 2022. And based on the responses from 23,000 broadband customers, JD Power measured customer satisfaction in five key areas, performance, reliability, cost, communications and promotions, billing, and customer service. And here's what we now know, or I guess we should say what we've been knowing <laughs> for a long time, is that while price is the primary driver for selecting a service, performance and reliability is the top predictor for customer satisfaction, according to 58% of respondents. So a majority of people are saying the same thing. Price gets us into your doors. You can have our business based on price, but in order to make us satisfied, you must be giving us the performance we're paying for and the service must be reliable. All right, so the, here are some rankings, and this might be interesting to you. If you live in the east part of the country, they are saying that Verizon ranks highest, and that is for 10 consecutive years. To the disdain of probably Telco Jesus himself, uh, Dennis, he's probably like, nah, you know, this is wrong or whatever, but that's his personal experience. That is one anecdote. Here we are looking at a set of collection of data. All right, so 10 consecutive years, Verizon is number one in the East. Optimum ranked the lowest. We're going to come back to Optimum shortly. All right, North Central, I didn't even know that was a thing. Midco ranks the highest. I've never even heard of Midco. Frontier ranks the lowest. I've heard that about Frontier. A lot of people say they are an absolutely terrible provider. I've heard the same thing about Optimum. All right, South Region. AT&T ranks the highest, a fifth consecutive year. So for those that have been complaining and bellyaching about AT&T, that must be a loud minority because they ranked best in the South. Suddenlink ranked the lowest. And Suddenlink, of course, associated with Optimum. So look at that. And then in the West, AT&T ranks highest again. Frontier ranks the lowest. They're on here again. So a very dubious distinction as a horrible provider. And actually... Optimum Suddenlink being the same thing, like this is basically telling us these are two of the worst providers in the country. All right, here are the overall customer satisfaction index rankings. AT&T way up. Xfinity is there. They're doing pretty good according to this data. They're slightly above regional average. Kinetic by Windstream. Never heard of them. Windstream I've heard of. Maybe that's just a rebrand. Spectrum is below average. Frontier below average. Cox garbage can residue. Well below average, told you guys. CenturyLink and Suddenlink, the worst. Bottom two. That is, I guess that's the uh, the garbage can residue after all. Uh, zooming out here, uh, Cox Communications, Frontier, and Spen uh, Spectrum rank below average in all four regions. Uh, AT&T serves three of the four regions, received above average scores in each. Overall satisfaction is down in three of the four categories with only the South improving. That's interesting. Uh, so basically, providers are getting worse most of the time. Uh, let's see. What else? Any uh, any price too much for some? Okay, this is interesting. This is basically telling us that there is a group of customers that believe that all prices that are currently offered are all too expensive. That would create an unconnected house, folks. The household wouldn't have a connection. Look at this uh, distinction here. No interest, no need. 13.8 million respondents in the country are saying that they don't need broadband. Look at this, at 50 bucks. There are 0.6 million people that have no interest. 0.5 million say too expensive. At 40 bucks. <laughs> at 30 bucks. At 20 bucks. At 10, look, look, if it was free, <laughs> there are people that don't want it. This is crazy. There. 
Uh, man, pe- I guess people that don't need the internet, they don't want to be connected. Um, these must be people that, you know, don't need it for their job or don't need it for school or their, ch- you know, their, ch- their children are grown and they've moved on. Maybe some people that just want to be disconnected uh, or people that just are like, I, I'm good. I don't want it or too expensive. We've got all those things in there. Anyways, the NTIA suggests that many in the no interest crowd may lack digital skills or face accessibility issues the agency also notes that service cost is still likely a meaningful hurdle for this group as they have significantly lower family incomes than their home internet using counterparts so that's another factor you have income uh you have digital uh you know competency it could be lacking there's so many different factors but i mean we got a country of 340 million people almost so you know having a small percentage of people disconnected. I guess it's, you know, it shouldn't be too surprising, uh, especially in certain states. Uh, I would say that connectivity is a problem, availability and accessibility a problem, and then pricing another problem. So there's a few things getting in the way. All right, but there you go. There you have it. Price is still number one. And then number two, it's once you get that pricing, and you land it, you got to keep customers with performance and reliability. What do you guys think? Uh, you got the East, North, Central, South, and West rankings here. Do you guys agree with these? Is this your experience? Do you disagree? I mean, there it is. Optimum, Sudden Link, they're trash. Frontier is trash. All right. Uh, Cox is trash. Told you guys. I told you. I feel vindicated by this report. Comment down below. You all the voice of the people. The SMT Nation. Let your voice be heard. Like, share, subscribe for more. Turn on the bell notifications icon to never miss an upload. Also, check out the join button down there by my subscription for my channel. You can get early access by becoming a member, early access to videos, exclusive content, all types of perks, add-ons and benefits, and you're supporting your favorite creators. My Twitter and also my Patreon page are linked in the description, as well as my Gmail address or business inquiries. Thank you all for watching and supporting. See you all in the next one. Peace.